Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran and in today's video we are going to discuss the difference between cross-sectional and longitudinal studies. As a researcher and especially if you are conducting a quantitative research at some uh, steps of your research you have to decide whether to choose cross-sectional or longitudinal study design. But of course, it's your research questions and the research objectives that will guide you to choose among these two options. But before selecting uh, among these two options, it is important to understand the difference between these two cross-sectional and longitudinal study design. So uh, the main difference between cross-sectional studies and the longitudinal study is the time horizon. Uh, in cross-sectional study design, we actually study a particular phenomena at a particular time. As a quantitative researcher, most of the time in cross-sectional studies, you imply a survey strategy. When you are studying a concept or the variable at a specific time frame, then it's a cross-sectional study. In a very simple word, if you have a model and you are uh, you are going to collect the data from the same respondents and about the same variables at the same time, at the one time. So it means that you are using cross-sectional study design. Here is an example. You can see the IT skills possessed by the managers in one organization at a given point in time. So it's a good example of cross-sectional study. You want to see your search as a snapshot so it means that you are going to use cross-sectional study design if you talk about the longitudinal study it's a study of particular phenomena at the multiple times if you are having a research in which you are going to study a phenomena and you are going to collect the data or that you are going to conduct your survey at more than one time framework then it means that you are using longitudinal study. Before selecting this study design, you need to ask this question, do I want my research to be a diary? That if you remember uh, our last slide, then we asked the question like, if you want your search to be a snapshot, then it's a cross-sectional study design. But if you want your research to be as a diary, then it means that your intention or the most suitable choice is the longitudinal study. Here is an example uh, which will help you to understand the longitudinal studies. For example, the IT skills possessed by the managers in one organization at multiple points in time. There might be possible that there is any particular training and you are going to assess the IT skills of your managers as a time frame one when uh, and after uh, having the intervention like intervention of training and after one month you are going to collect the data again from the same managers in the same organization and then you will get another data so this uh, this kind of study will be the longitudinal study here is a very important question that you must understand if there is a study like you are collecting the data at the different time frames, but you have different sample or the people that you from where you are going to collect the data uh, are they different, then it will not be a longitudinal study, it will remain a cross sectional study. Or in the other case, if uh, you are going to collect the data from the same respondents, but the variables you are going to study they are different then it will remain a cross-sectional study it will not be a longitudinal study in this context let me uh, tell you uh, let me explain it with an example from my own study recently i published a paper in which i have studied the impact of internal csr on implies contextual performance and in between these two variables i have two uh, sequential mediator one was a perceived organizational support and the other was the affective commitment in that study i collected the data in four time frames i mean the respondents were the same 
but at the time frame one, we have collected the data regarding the internal CSR. And in the time frame phase two, we have collected the data from the same respondents, but regarding another variable, which was our first uh, mediator, perceived organizational support. And in the time frame third, we collected the data from the same respondents regarding our third variable, which was active commitment. And in the final stage or the fourth phase, we collected the data from the same respondents, but about the contextual performance. So in that case, we have actually collected the data at four time phases. So that was still a cross-sectional study because although we have the same respondents, but about which we are going, uh, we were collected the data, the variables were different. So in that way, it will, uh, that was not a longitudinal study that was still a cross-sectional study. Longer, longitudinal study will be only when, when you are going to collect the data from the same respondents and regarding the same variable. In only in that case, it will be a longitudinal study. And most of the time, these uh, longitudinal study design are chosen when we are going to study a phenomena at the different time frameworks because of we are going to implement any intervention and we are interested to see if there is any difference uh, like difference between the phase one and phase two in that uh, that research we use a longitudinal study so these are the main differences apart from this uh, cross-sectional study design it less time consuming and it require less resources but in case of longitudinal study you require more time and more resources so as a researcher you have to focus on all these things including your research questions your research objectives and also you know your time you have to complete this research and also the resources you have so of course based on all these things you find it decide whether to go with the cross-sectional study design or the longitudinal study design. I hope this video will be helpful for you to understand the difference between cross-sectional and longitudinal study design. Thanks for watching.